Hey guys, Bjergsen here from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Kog'Maw. I actually think Kog'Maw is a really strong champion, even though he can't make a lot of plays, which is what people usually look for in solo queue champions, but he can just play very safe early and then reach a point in the game where you can tell your team to just group up and start poking. Uh, champions you want to play with is generally like peeling champions or tanks, so you want champions like Janna or Lulu or big tanks like Scion and Sejuani that can let you do damage while they're tanking the damage. and. For champions you don't want to play against, it would be champions like Zed, Diana, Leona, just super divey champions that can dive onto Kog'Maw because that is his biggest problem. The most important thing in the early laning phase is managing to get enough gold to get Tier of the Goddess. Um, Kog'Maw mostly focuses on trading whenever they're trying to fo force trades on you, and other than that, you just farm using your W or your auto attacks, whatever you really can. Once you get level 7, you just play extremely safe, you can one-shot the backline using your E and alt combo. So. Kogma is not really someone who's looking to play super aggressive in lane. If you're even farm and you get later in the game, you pretty much outscale the enemy champion, so there's no need to try to make early plays. Generally, you just want to be playing really safe closer to your tower. You don't really want to be standing inside his tower playing aggressive, but that's also why we're bringing two defensive summoners. Either Ghost Flash or Heal or Cleanse or really any kind of defensive summoner that can help you from getting gang. Generally, before a team fight as Kogma, you want to have some kind of poke on them. Kogma is a really good poker pre-fight and has good disengage, so you want to try to have them at least somewhat chunked or some of them a bit chunked before the fight. But once the fight starts, you just want to be in the back line, obviously, and there's really two ways you can play. Either you can shred the front line using your Q and auto attacks and just burning all your damage on the front line, or you can play him more artillery-based and try to just poke down their back line. I think it really depends on what kind of champions they have in the back line, how immobile they are, what kind of position you have, but you really need to go into the team fight knowing exactly, like, are you going to play to destroy the back line, or are you going to play to bust the front line? One of the most important things for AP Kogma rookie players is that they tend to go out of mana really fast. Uh, for my build, I only build Tier of the Goddess for mana, and then I go straight into AP. I don't build Athenes or anything like that. So you really need to watch out for your alts. Generally, you only want to throw, like, five or six alts in a row, then wait for it to come back to the normal mana cost and throw again. Don't just continue to spam your mana. Always check your bar and see how many stacks do you have and how expensive your alt is, because it's really important to manage it. Uh, another little tip for Kogma, which it's not really the biggest tip, but um, it really helps, is when you're walking the lane, or generally whenever, you should just be using your W to get to your stacks, because your W is free of mana, and you can use it pretty much any time. Just make sure you're not going to let CS go to waste for it. For runes on Kogma, I always run Magic Pen Reds and Flat AP Quins. Uh, yellows can differ between HP scaling or armor depending on your matchup, and the blues differ between AP scaling and flat MR depending on matchups. For Kogma, I go 2109 Masteries. The only thing that's really out of the ordinary in the office tree is that I do spell weaving, uh, because Kogma does a little bit of auto attacking as well using his W, so I think, I think it does help and it does increase your damage output overall more than getting one more point in the Archmage. Um, in Utility, you can choose between two things. You can go the Culinary Master for the Biscuit, or you can go Runic Affinity for the buff time. It's really just personal preference. I prefer the Biscuit, but if you like the longer blue time, you should go for it. For level 1, I generally do W, since it makes laning really easy. It's free of mana, and you can also get some long-range harass, since you can outrange the enemy. Uh, level 2 and 3, I generally go uh, E twice, but if I'm getting pushed under turret, at around level 2 or 3 and I want the extra attack speed from Q and just helps last hitting under turret, I go for that. Uh, after that, I always max E into Q into W and of course getting ult as much as you can. Uh, just E and Q give you really high burst potential and your ult is the most important spell you have. For starting items on Kogma, I almost always go Doran String. There are a few really bullying matchups where you want to go Flask, maybe poking champions like Urgot or Quirky Mid. Uh, but other than that, go ring. You want to get Tier of the Goddess as soon as you can because you want to start stacking it up. Kogma needs a lot of mana. After Tier, I personally like going Ludens Echo because it gives you the biggest power spike around level 11, which is where Kogma needs to be the strongest. Um, after Ludens Echo, I like to get the upgraded Tier as soon as you have the full Tier stacks and then get Haunting Guys and Void Staff for the max amount of uh, magic penetration. And for the last item, you should go for Deathcap or Zhonyas. Of course, getting Sorcerer Shoes generally around Ludens Echo is the best timing. Alright, thanks for watching this guys. If you enjoyed it, you can check out my other guides here on lawclass.com.